The best anchor is one that works. It is important to appreciate that not only does your anchor provide a safe temporary mooring when you choose to stop for reasons of your own, it is also a vital safety measure in many an emergency. The combination of the correct anchor and the right length and weight of chain and rope will keep your vessel head on into heavy conditions and will prevent you being swept away to sea or onto shore. At least one anchor must be carried on all small craft. Some of the popular models used by recreational vessels in Australia are Admiralty anchors, the traditional pattern, which are good for muddy bottoms and readily collapsed and stowed. Danforth or sand anchors are general purpose and lie flat for easy storage. Plough or CQR anchors are probably the most popular in general use, particularly for larger craft. Reef anchors, which are popular with fishermen in rock or coral areas. And the new Australian designed Saka anchor, ideal for both sand and reef, is rapidly gaining popularity. Your local safety handbook will advise what weight and length of chain and rope are required by the regulations. In general, all vessels over 5 metres should have at least 2.5 metres of chain between the anchor stock and cable, attached by a shackle. The shackle should be tied with wire or otherwise secured to prevent it becoming undone by the movement when sitting at anchor. The seaman-like way to anchor is as follows. Decide where you want to lie in relation to other boats and the wind or tide. Allow yourself room to swing when they change. Motor slowly into the wind or tide just past your chosen spot. Cut the engine and wait until you start to drift backwards. Let out the anchor slowly. When it touches the bottom, pay out three times the depth and then cleat on the rope. Let the boat drift back against the anchor to help it dig in. Let the motor idle. Put the propeller into reverse to check that the anchor is holding. Line up two fixed objects to help you judge this. The anchor rope should be three times the depth in calm conditions and at least five times the depth in heavy conditions. If you mark the rope at regular intervals with paint or coloured twine, it will help you judge how much you need to let out. Before raising the anchor, warm up the engine and just pull the boat up to the anchor, or motor slowly forward, bringing in the rope at the same time. Don't overrun the rope. When the boat begins to drift, you may bring in the chain and anchor. Then you may motor away. Remember, don't go forward or astern until the anchor is on board. Vessels must not anchor in any channel so as to impede the navigation of another vessel. Also, special restrictions apply to historic or environmentally sensitive areas and where underwater cables are laid. Familiarize yourself with any mooring restrictions by checking the chart first when visiting new waters.